Hey guys, it's us, and, and today, today we're, we're in... first European country. Yes, so today marks the first day of our two-month European journey and on this journey we will be visiting four <laughs> European countries and two Middle Eastern countries, so six in total. We're oh, really excited. We're so excited. But we won't tell you which countries those are yet. You'll just have to subscribe and find out because yes. we will obviously be sharing all of those adventures with you guys. Yes. So we just landed here in Athens, Greece and mm -hmm. we are so excited. But today yeah. we are actually going to be headed to Mykonos first. Right, right now we've just landed. We're about to go get a SIM card so we yeah. can stay connected throughout our whole trip. First we're gonna do a little bit of errands and then we'll be headed to Mykonos. Another day another adventure. Let's get it. Let's go! Alright guys so we just got our luggage. Thankfully it didn't go missing but right across it is a SIM card booth and we need that to stay connected here in Greece. So let's go see how much it is. Let's go. There's two options. The option that we went with is the unlimited data here in Greece. But once we leave Greece and roam Europe, we only have 22 gig available. It's only unlimited here in Greece, but we paid 45 euros for that. The other option is 25 gigabyte. Then once you leave Greece, 15 gigabyte, but that's only 35 euros. So it's like 10 euros cheaper, but I think having more data for 10 more euros is definitely a better deal for us. So that's the option we went with. So we are now outside the airport, about to grab a taxi so we can head to the port where we will be taking a ferry to the island of Mykonos. Uh, we got our cash now. Euros feels nice. It kind of reminds me of Canadian dollars a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice money. <laughs> yeah. So right now it's actually quite hot. Yeah. It's yeah. not as humid as I thought it would be though. It kind of yeah. feels like summer in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hundred <laughs> percent. Summertime here, guys. So it is their peak season right now. Yeah. There's so many people here, but overall, the process of entering Europe right now was pretty easy for us. Stress-free. Yeah, stress-free. We have 45 degrees. 45 degrees? 45. Does it get cold here too? Or very, no? very hot. But now it's okay. 30 degrees, 29, 29. Yeah, yeah. No, it's perfect weather right now. Yeah, this is perfect. All right, so we just got dropped off here at the port. And can I just say, that was probably the nicest taxi driver ever. Yeah, he was such a kind, kind man. We'll actually put his contact information right here because he does do private service. He did offer us his contact information if we ever need a driver here in Athens when we do come back. We came from Athens airport and we are now here at Rafina port. We paid 50 euros for a 35 to 40 minute drive, which is pretty average. Yeah, pretty average here. That was pretty pricey to us, but that's pretty <laughs> average here. There are two main ports that you can depart from to Mykonos from Athens, which is Rafina port where we're at right now, and then Piraeus port. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Your ticket tells you anyways which port you'll be departing from. Also, we got our ticket from letsferry.com. Yes, yeah. and it's highly advisable that you guys book your ferries in advance Yeah. because they do sell out quick. So we paid 30 euros, but we booked it in advance. That's why. But if you book it from here, it can go up all the way up to 80 to 100 euros. And 
the prices also vary on yeah, how yeah. fast your ferry is. Yeah. So there are slower ferries and then there are the fast ferries. But yeah, anyway, so we're here now. It's a gorgeous day today. Yeah, and can I just say, first impressions from driving here, it kind of reminds me of like BC. British that, Columbia, yeah. Canada. The overall like landscape of Athens so far, very, very dry. Yeah. And that's probably why they've been having like forest fires too, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But first impression is very, very dry here. But beautiful. Yeah, bit beautiful, yeah. yeah. Also, there's actually our ferry. It's not gonna leave till like two more hours. So we're probably gonna go to a restaurant, get something to eat, because yes. we're starving. We're in Athens, Greece, babe. All right, so right now we're just at a cafe, just chilling, enjoying the weather. We got two hours. I got some burgers. I was trying to get some Greek food, but they didn't have any. Well, they do have a restaurant behind us, but it was really packed. Oh, yeah. Super busy. So that was a really, really long flight. If you're wondering who we flew with, we flew with Scoot, and it was actually our first time flying with them as well. Mm -hmm. To be completely transparent, we did not, we do not recommend them. <laughs> we just didn't really enjoy our experience. Obviously, you get what you pay for. Scoot is yeah, yeah. Um, a budget friendly airline. Yeah. And they were honestly the cheapest flight we could find to Athens. So we were just yeah. like, okay, let's just fly with them. Let's try it. Yeah. And we did not know that they actually don't serve you food. Yeah, you have um, to pay for it. Our flight to Singapore, which was only like four hours, that from was understandable. Yeah, yeah, from Philippines. But then we had a 12 hour flight from Singapore to Athens and we did not get a bed. Yeah, or, was, or water even. Like yeah. they don't give you any drink unless you buy. Pay. Yeah, you yeah. have to pay. Um, we wanted water. They charge $3 for a little can of water. Yeah. So highly recommend that you bring a flask of your own and fill yeah. it up with yeah. water after security. And also bring food from the airport it yeah. says on their website that you're not allowed to bring food i know but yeah anyways out of 10 i give it like a 4.5 i was asking for water like sir you gotta buy water <laughs> but we eventually did pay <laughs> for had, food like a little can of water that lasted us 12 hours we're not gonna go 12 hours without eating we did end up buying food yeah. and their food was it did not taste like anything so i don't know if we'll fly with them again unless we're on a tight budget but um like i said you get what you pay for mm -hmm. so I mean, it wasn't the worst. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't the greatest either. See those luggages, guys? Those are all Anne's right there. <laughs> Jan just brought a backpack. This, these are Jan's stuff, don't worry. He's got some room. <laughs> all right, so we're walking to our ferry now. Oh, man, I'm so excited to get to Mykonos. <laughs> reclining chairs and then you got this like little cafeteria where we're at right now and then you got the VIP lounge which you have to pay more for but even just being on the deck it's so comfortable this is the cheapest one we paid 30 euros to be on the deck but it feels so much more luxurious than that Babe, we're here! We're finally here!
All right, guys, good morning from beautiful Mykonos Island. So before we start the day, we're gonna go get breakfast first. We need to fuel up, it's gonna be a long day. We're gonna get breakfast and then we're gonna head to Chora. So Chora is Mykonos town, which is basically the center of Mykonos. That's where everything is. Are you excited? Yeah, and it's such a beautiful day. Oh my gosh, we can't wait to explore. But anyways, let's get some food. Let's go. Morning. How are you today? Good morning. Well, like Jan said, we're starting today off with breakfast, and it's actually a breakfast buffet. So here at Andrew Nico's, they have a beautiful breakfast spread. Everything here is so healthy, which I love. Obviously, you're in Greece, so for breakfast, they have an option of making yourself a Greek bowl. If you don't know, Jan and I actually love this kind of stuff. It's just really expensive to get it where we're from. So we got some low-fat Greek yogurt for cheese. Look at that. Oh, what'd you get? Our plates look so good. Look how healthy our plates look. Your mind, guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so healthy. Alright guys, so we are now out of our hotel, about to head to Chora, aka Mykonos Town. So we decided to just walk it, because from our hotel, uh, it's only a 15 minute walk. There are three types of transportation that you can get on to get to Mykonos Town, which is a water taxi, bus, and also a taxi. Another popular way to get around the island is rent a scooter or an ATV, which yeah. a lot of people are doing. The island is quite small, so from one end of the island to the other end of the island, it takes about 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So we might rent an ATV or a scooter in the next vlog. The cheapest option is the bus. It can cost around one to three euros. Yeah. Yeah, taxi, like a five minute ride can go up to 20 euros. So that's not an option for us. Alright, so we're almost into town. So walking the streets of Mykonos, the roads are pretty narrow, pretty tight, but nothing new to us, you know? We're from Asia, so. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are here now at beautiful Mykonos town. Oh my gosh, such a dream come true. Especially for you babe, how do you feel? I don't know if it hasn't hit me yet that we're here in Greece or yeah. if it's hit me and I'm just like in shock. <laughs> the best thing that you can do here in Mykonos town is get lost in the alleyways because oh, it is so beautiful. Yeah, you're surrounded by white brush walls, yeah. colorful doors, the narrow streets. Yeah. Oh my god, and there's like flowers in every corner mm -hmm. and it's stunning. Even in the tight alleyways, there's like something to see. There's always a restaurant, local boutiques mm -hmm. that you can find. If you guys are here in Mykonos town, don't be afraid to get lost yeah. in the alleyways because yeah. that's the best way to explore it. It is so busy. Yeah. Since it's like peak season right now, it's summer. There's so many people. So many small local boutiques. So nice. Add some water, one euro each. That is hot, bro. Greece looks good on there. I know, it does. Maybe I should live here. <laughs> to the famous windmills. Mykonos is known for these windmills, so it's a very famous landmark here. As you can see in a second, we'll show you, but it is packed. Yeah, it's so many people here. <laughs> so these windmills used to uh, 
grind grains, but now they're just a popular tourist attraction here in Mykonos. So as you can see, the windmills are behind us now. Super stunning. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Yeah. <laughs> we keep saying that, but it's true. All right, guys, so we just finished with the windmills. Right behind me right here is actually another popular attraction here in Mykonos, which is Little Venice. Unfortunately, we won't show you too much of it right now. Uh, we'll probably come back here in the next vlog because right now, since it is noon, there's just way too many people here. Just gonna walk around some more and maybe get some gelato or some ice cream because it's way too hot right now. Man, Mykonos architecture is something else. It's freaking stunning here, man. Even though there's so many people, I don't care. I could care less. <laughs> All right, we got our gelato. Let's go outside. It's too loud in here. All right, so we got some gelato. Because it's so damn hot out here. I got the bueno and it is amazing. So, first scoop is uh, 380 euros. Look at that. That can looks amazing. What do you get, baby? I got bubble gum. I love like candy flavored ice cream or gelato. I like the weird stuff. It's not weird. Though. That's a weird flavor. Who the heck gets bubble gum? <laughs> That's like for real pieces. Alright, so. A little background about Mykonos Island. It's the most expensive Greek island and it is a party island. People come here to party. If you are into that, then you have to visit Mykonos because wow. there are parties day and night, 24-7 basically. But we didn't really come here for that though. Yeah. I think Mykonos offers so much more than partying, mm -hmm. you know? It is quite expensive here though. <laughs> Coming here, I honestly thought that Santorini was going to be the most expensive Greek island because when you think of Greece, you think of Santorini. But yeah. surprisingly, it's Mykonos. Make sure to subscribe, guys, because we'll show you so many beautiful places here in Europe. You're not even ready for it. We're Trust not even me. ready for it. Yeah, we're not even ready for it. Our wallet ain't even ready for it, you know? <laughs> we just, we just, we we just, just went, went for it. For it. <laughs> We've actually been strolling around Mykonos town for about two hours so we decided to come back and cool down. We're gonna take advantage of our hotel pool and actually give you a little tour of our room. We are staying at Andrew Nikos Hotel. We're actually fortunate enough to be staying in one of their suites and it's really beautiful so let me show you. So this is their bathroom. Down here is the bedroom. It's very, very spacious. It's very beautiful and white and blue. It just screams grease. You've got a TV. Over here is our huge living area. This area is so big that these two couches can act as two beds. Out here is probably our favorite part about the suite. It's actually our balcony. This is our balcony. We actually have a jacuzzi over here. And then we have a beautiful and breathtaking view of Mykonos and the sea. Town, about to watch the sunset. It is currently 7 p.m. and the sun goes down at 8 and it looks even more stunning here at this time. Yeah. So we're currently here 
at the windmill of Mykonos. The sun's about to set and it's just right in front of us right here. The sun is about to set. There's so many people here now watching the sunset. There's Anne just taking photos. Oh my gosh, babe. First full day here in Mykonos. This place is going to be hard to beat. Yeah. Alright guys, so it is now night time. It's around 8.30 p.m. That's sunset. Out of this world now. That was a beautiful sunset. People started clapping. So as you can see, Mykonos Town is alive right now. Everyone's dressed up, about to go out and party because it's a party island. Uh, but for us, we're gonna go get dinner. And go to bed. And go to bed because we have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Alright guys, so we're back in our hotel room now. It's been such a long day, but it's been an amazing first day here in Mykonos. Yes. This is where we end the vlog. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on social media for daily updates. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!